eyes of the world have been glued to the city of Haran for the past two months, following the outbreak of a previously unknown pathogen. It is not yet clear what has caused this gruesome affliction. The local government's Ministry of Defense erected a quarantine wall shortly after the outbreak. The global relief effort's steady stream of supply drops has sustained what few survivors remain in the city. The Ministry of Defense believes more radical action should be taken to stem the tide of this virus. The question is, are there still non-infected survivors in the city as the GRE maintains? And if so, will the Ministry still go through with a stated plan to annihilate the city in an attempt to wipe out the Haran virus once and for all? Whether by way of the virus or the Ministry's proposed plan, one thing is certain. Haran's days are numbered.
expected Haran's destiny to turn out so close to its intention. And yet, so far. Uh, what do you mean? Haran has always been something of an anomaly. It was originally settled in the Middle Ages, but it has always been an open city, <coughs> a center of trade and commerce. Because of that, the prevailing attitude here has consistently been one of tolerance and acceptance. People of all nationalities, ethnicities, religions, all were welcome within Haran's borders. As long as they could pay the city's taxes. Sounds like a good thing. You would think. And for the most part, it has been. The aborted global athletics games would have highlighted the city's diversity. So why do you sound so down about it? Because the outbreak has demonstrated what I fear is one of the more fundamental elements of human nature. We divide ourselves. We divide ourselves and we look for an enemy. The survivors in the tower are a diverse lot, it's true. But who are we more frightened of? The infected? Or Rise and his army of gangsters? And Rise himself? I'm told his men are just as varied as those of us here. And yet, he sends them again. us. If old lines fade, we draw new lines. Okay, well, thanks for that bit of inspiration.
Jade's being held hostage at the museum. The choice is the place was originally built as a fortress, and now it's Rice's biggest outpost in Sector Zero. I gotta get in there before Jade gets hurt. Or killed, or worse.
Fire!
Yes, do what I do. Don't think about it. Come on, do you see them? Do you see how they look? Trust me, man. Quiet! I hope. We meet again. The last time we met, you took something of mine. Now, I took something of yours. I don't negotiate with assholes, Rice. I get out of here with Jade, or I take your other hand, too. Your choice! You cannot simply demand to have her crane. You must make a showing of effort first. Attack! Move it, boys, move it! Go, go, go! <sighs> You're dead now! Blow him to bloody pieces! Move! 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 Fire in the hole! Shove it up your ass! That the best you got, Rise? I can do this all fucking day!
No, no, no! Find her, Craig. Come on. She won't wait for you forever.
<laughs> Not again. <laughs> Jade! Oh shit. Oh shit, what have they done um, to you? Fine, Crane. To hear knock me over the head before he dumped me in here. Just... Give me a minute. Oh, I'll be right as rain. You do not have the luxury of a minute, Scorpion. In fact, what little time you have, you owe to me. Thanks to your repair of my antennas, Crane, I've listened to every word any of you have said. How do you suppose I found you, Miss Aldemir? Or the good Dr. Camden? How do you think I broke the connection between the sectors? I am the director of this film. And now that I have Zera's research, the GRE will do as I command them, which renders the two of you useless. Tahir! You took offense, Crane, as I recall, at being referred to as a trained monkey. But look at you now, dancing for our amusement. You are strong enough to have joined me, but you lack the proper character. Consider this a character strengthening exercise. Come on, Jade, let's get out of here. Oh, Jade, are... Jade, are you hurt? Did, they didn't bite you, did they? I'm fine, I'm fine. Just give me a second. Sweet little Jade is far from fine, Crane. She was bitten and infected hours ago. How noble of her to try and hide it from you. Biter got me on the leg. You didn't need to know. Once again, you find yourself with a choice, Crane. Your precious Scorpion is about to turn. But so are you. Who will receive the Anthazine? Who has a hope of living through this encounter? It's up to you now. Jade, here. You take this. No! No, come on. Listen, I've still got some in my system. You need this worse than I do. Crane. I just want you to promise me one thing. When the time comes, you're the one who takes me out. What? No, I... Promise me! Jade, I, I can't... <sighs> Crane. Crane, can you hear me? Jade, where are you? Jade? I need you to hear me, Crane. Crane. Crane, can you hear me? What the? Jade, where are you? Jade? I know you wanted to try and save me. Not everybody would have offered that vial the way you did. But it's too late for that now. It's too late for me.
For a while I blamed you for Amir's death. I wanted to kill you. But I realized it was time for Amir. It was time for him to go. No, no! Everybody's life is finite, Crane. You can't deny it. It's pointless. We get here, and eventually we die. And there's nothing we can do to change that. God, please. Not now. They will catch us! Shit! Oh, shit! The only thing we can do is make what happens in between count. Crane, save these people. Amir's life counted, and now he's gone. Rahim's life counted, and now he's gone. If sacrificing my life means saving everyone in Haran, then that's what I want to do. Oh, not again. Don't take that away from me, Crane. I was born premature. The doctors didn't think I was going to live. But I fought. I struggled and I fought. And I worked and worked and worked. I became a champion. I became the Scorpion. I left my mark on the world. It's my time. No, not again. You can't save me. You've got to let me save you. Let me save you.
No. God damn it, no, don't let me do this! Jade, what was that? I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to. One of us has to live, Kyle. You just remember what you promised me. All of this, and still you had your choice made for you. Disappointing, Kray. You, you, you and you, get in there and kill them. Oh! <laughs> 
It's the natural order of things, Kane. Kill or be killed. Eat or be eaten. Tahir! Kill that son of a bitch! a bit of difference. Ugh! <sighs> 
Where is Rise? You will never know, boy. Tell me where he's going! It is not for you to seek out Rise. When he wants you, he will find you himself. I can see this kind of thought pains you. Don't worry, the pain will soon be over. Time to die, boy! Come on, don't give up now! I'll fucking cut you! Get shot, huh? Oh, shit, this is just the tissue samples. Where's the other package? Go to hell, Crane. Wow, to hear. You know, you're looking pretty fucked up, huh? Yeah, those don't look like the kinds of wounds you recover from. So, then kill me. No, no, I shouldn't. I should just leave you here to suffer. That's what you deserve. Yes, then why don't you? Because you're not the kind of loose end you leave untied. Troy, it's Crane. Crane? You're alive. Troy, Jade... Jade's dead. Oh... I'm sorry. Uh, I'm really sorry, Crane. I, I mean it. What happened? Jade saved my life, Troy. Again. She died... saving me. Crane, you've still got to call off the Ministry. That's why Jade sacrificed herself. So you could do this. Is Savvy there? Has he figured out how to get a message through? Yes, but to do it, you need to meet me. I have to give you an amplifier that Savvy says can help us break through the signal jamming. 
I'll wait for you in the safe zone. Halfway to the antenna, what you'll need to mount the amp. Okay, Troy, on my way. Jade and I are both infected, and Rice made us fight for Antizen. She... she let me have it. Sacrificed her life for me. And when she turned, I... I had to put her out of her misery. First Raheem, now Jade. I swear I'm gonna fucking make Rice pay. Dr. Camden, it's Crane. Do you copy? Crane, good to hear you're still alive. Did you find Jade? Yeah, yeah, I, I found her. Listen, I also found Dr. Zara's tissue samples, and I'll bring them to you, but, but first there's something else I need to do. <sighs> okay, Crane, but remember, we don't have a lot of time. I know, Doc, but I'm about to buy us time. I'll be in touch. Thank <laughs> you. 
move. Hey, Crane. Nice to see you again. Uh, nice to see you in good shape, Michael. Hey, stay out of trouble, all right? Well, all I can do is try. Need some new gear? Hard to decide, isn't it? You won't find better stuff anywhere else. You won't find better stuff anywhere else. Hard to decide, isn't it? Ozak says, climb the tower and kiss the sky. Yeah, maybe just the first part. Up we go.
There's really something wrong with you, Bozak. So, what do I have to do? You need to install it at the highest place possible. That way we'll have the best chance to break through. Okay, so let me guess. I need to head out to that giant antenna tower at the edge of town? The fastest way is through the sewers. Savvy will guide you over the radio. So contact him when you get to the other side. And Crane, when you install the amp, make sure to set the correct frequency on your radio. Pull this off, and the entire world will hear you. <sighs> Let's hope so. See you, Troy.
We need to make sure the signal is strong enough to get past the jamming. Installing the amplifier on the tallest antenna tower in Haran should do the trick. Hopefully. Savvy says the safest way there is through the sewers. Kid? No way. Fast enough shit.
weather. Oh, this must be the place. <laughs> One day I'm gonna do this and end up landing on a bag of rusty knives. I just know it. Hey, Sav, are you there? Uh, yeah, man. You okay? I'm above ground and still in one piece. to the substation. Otherwise, there'll be no power to the antenna. Okay, where do I get this card? You'll have to search the containers. It'll be in one of them. Would I have to search the place? You mean the card might not even be here? No, no, it's, it's there, mate. It's just the last guy who tried to do something like this made it to one of the containers before we uh, lost contact with him.
These fuckers again.
Yes! Fucking finally! Got it. Savvy, I got the key card. Great. Now go to the substation. It's close to the antenna mast, inside the fence. Use the card to get inside.
Ладно. Savvy, I'm in. Okay, good. Turn on the transformer. Holy shit!
Just get to the top, no sweat. Ah, oh, shit, the cable snapped. You've got to be fucking kidding me!
when you mount the amp. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Of course, it waits till I'm all the way up here to stop raining. Anyone who can hear me, please listen. My name is Kyle Crane, and I'm sending this message from inside the Huron Quarantine. Colonel Tanner and the Ministry of Defense have lied to you. There are still survivors inside the walls. They plan to firebomb Huron, but if those bombs drop, you will know Tanner and the Ministry are cold-blooded murderers. Holy shit, there's someone alive in the quarantine zone? Hey, do you copy? Do you copy? It's Walter! How the hell do you want? We want to offer you a chance to get out of that horrible place. Oh yeah? And why would you do that? I never found out who had your precious file. You don't even have to pay the rest of my fee. Water under the bridge, Kyle. We're best off just to move past that. All you need to do is to bring Dr. Zara's research with you, and we'll send a nice, safe helicopter to extract you. You realize I know what was in the file. I knew you were going to exploit the virus. Crane! Oh my god. You need the cure now for spin, don't you? That's the only way you could get out of this! Try to convince everyone you were working toward a cure the whole time! Don't be ridiculous. Bring us the research and everything will be fine. You want the research? Just fucking wait for my signal. Savvy, you there? The amplifier's installed. Brilliant, Crane. Now just zip line down. That tunnel I mentioned is near where you land. Mr. Crane? Am I speaking to Mr. Crane? Yeah, this is Crane. Who's this? This is Vulcan Dahl. I am with the brothers. Will you join us at the vehicle assembly facility? I'll provide the coordinates. I'll be there shortly.
Vokendal. And you are Mr. Crane. You're quite a capable man. Yeah, I get things done. That makes you far above average. Those two, in spite of what you have no doubt witnessed, are no less capable. Uh, in their own way. A submarine? So, you're trapped here too? Not for much longer. You couldn't buy your way out? The government knew I'd been bitten. They said I would have to be stored in some sort of uh, secret quarantine base. Uh, that was not for me. Did you bring this sonar unit? Have it right here. Ready for testing, Mr. Tal. Excellent. Mr. Crane, do you wish to do the honors? Why not? Try not to break it. Preparing for test maneuvers. Ballast tanks open, submerging to two meters. Ahead one third. Oh no. Gentlemen, I want to know what happened. It blew up. It blew up. It's your fault. It's your fault. Mine? You are insane. Mine? You are insane. Yes, of course. Uh, Fatin, Tolga, I want ideas. Ah, ah, human cannonball. Uh, too dangerous. A tunnel to China? Too much digging. A jetpack? Jetpack. Yes, yes, yes. I want a jetpack. Build me a jetpack.
Yeah, nothing can go wrong with this plan.
I got a message out to the world, and just in time. The Ministry's bombers peeled off and left. But then the GRE contacted me. Seems they want me to get Dr. Zera's research together and give it to them, so they can convince the world they've been working on a cure instead of a way to profit off people's misery. Fuck that. I've got other plans. I got a message out to the world, and just in time. I got a message out to the world, and just in time. The Ministry's bombers peel- Yes! Dr. Camden, this is Kyle Crane. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Are you on your way? I'm ready to work. Just bring me the samples. That's exactly what I intend to do, Doc. Just remember, I'm surrounded by an army of infected. Yeah, affirmative. Expect me soon. Good. Not like I'm going anywhere. Ugh! <sighs> 
Be like a man! Hey, you must be Crane. Yeah, I can see you through the security cameras. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. Use the elevator. Push the button for the bottom floor. Got it. With Zara's research, Dr. Camden might actually have a chance to develop a cure. I was sad to hear about Dr. Zara. He and I were thrilled to get the chance to study the Haran virus. And not to mention, the GRE paid us quite handsomely. Oh, by the way, we're on backup power now, so we have minimal functionality. I needed extra power for my last experiment, and the generators overheated and shut down.
Oh, and, and the door leading to the main corridor can only be opened manually. You'll, uh, you'll have to get to the security room and throw the switch. On my way. Now, go down the main corridor. The lab is on the left. The outbreak happened. Sarah and I stayed in the detour of the cure. You know who was supposed to protect us? Dear Suleiman. Rise himself. <laughs> that worked out just perfectly. Ah! <laughs> 
brain. Glad to be finally shaking hands with you. Now, let's have those tissue samples, shall we? Hey, Doc, you mind if I show you a photo? No, 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 just, just, just one minute. Just let that run. That's gonna take quite a while. Now, what uh, what was it you wanted to say? Hey, that's him. That that that's the GRE operative I was telling you about. What's his name? Amir. Yes, yes, Amir Goreshi. What are you doing with a picture of him? We uh we had a mutual friend. The samples are still viable. That's good. With some luck, your trip here won't have been for nothing. Uh, where's the rest of the data, by the way? I know Zara prepared two packages. Yeah, I'll have to get back to you on that, Doc. Right now I have some GRE shitheads to confront. GRE? Brain, you watch yourself around them. Their public face is a lie of epic proportions. Those people are all heartless, lying bastards. I hear you, Doc. And thanks. I'll be in touch. I met Camden. He was very excited to see Zara's samples. He says if he can get the rest of Zara's data, there might actually be hope of finding a cure. Listen, Crane, I gotta reiterate. You better watch your back, your front, and both sides with those GRE bastards. They'll screw you if they get the chance. I know, Doc. I'll be careful. I just need to figure out where things stand. Anything you need, I got it right here. Hey, my friend. I have another batch of medicine to deliver. Could you help me out again? I'd really appreciate it. What with my legs still healing and all. Sure, I'll do my best, but... 
What exactly am I delivering? Medicine, I told you. And it's for sick people, right? So don't waste time asking me questions. And don't look in the bag, either. You'll ruin the meds. <laughs> 